According to an elaborate IMDb biography, Richard Tiffany Gere is an actor who holds a high rank in the list of the most versatile actors of his generation in Hollywood. Born on the 31st of August, 1949, to parents Homer and Doris Ann Gere in Pennsylvania, United States, spending most of his childhood in New York. He was musically inclined and became skilled at playing the trumpet. He majored in philosophy at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst after graduating from North Syracuse Central High School in 1967 on a gymnastics scholarship and dropped out of school after two years to pursue his interest in theater. In 1977, he eventually landed his golden role as Tony in Looking for Mr. Goodbar. He then played a prisoner from a detention camp in Bent, for which he won the 1980 Theater World Award. He played the lead in American Gigolo, with the status later amplified by the release of An Officer and a Gentleman in 1982, after playing the role of Zach Mayo, a new member of the U.S. Navy. In 1990, Richard co-starred with Julia Roberts in the smash hit Pretty Woman. The film won the People's Choice Award for Best Film because it captured the hearts of the American people. Fans of Gear and Roberts pleaded for a sequel, or, at the very least, another pairing for years. They later on worked once again in the 1999 film The Runaway Bride, to which Gear earned almost $12 million and Roberts earned $17 million. The film grossed a whopping $152 million at the box office. People magazine named Richard one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world in 1991 and the sexiest man alive in 1999. He also played as one of the voice actors in The Simpsons in one of the episodes entitled She of Little Faith. He has done many films and had projected his charms on screen. In 2006, he portrayed the notorious author Clifford Irving in The Hoax. The following year, Gear starred in I'm Not There, a film about legendary musician Bob Dylan. In 2008, he worked on the romantic drama with Diane Lane in The Knights of Rodan. In 2009, Gear and Hilary Swank then worked together on Amelia, a biopic about pioneering aviator Amelia Earhart. He then co-starred with Susan Sarandon as the troubled hedge fund magnate in the 2012 film Arbitrage. He was nominated for a Golden Globe for his outstanding performance in the film. He also had other works and appeared in Movie 43 in 2013, Henry and Me, and Time Out of Mind both in 2014, the second best exotic Marigold Hotel in 2015, The Benefactor in 105, Norman, The Moderate Rise and Tragic Fall of a New York Fixer in 2016, and The Dinner in Three Christs in the year 2017. He also did a television appearance in Mother, Father, Son last 2019. When it came to personal life, of course, Richard had it intriguing too. He had a couple of women around in his life throughout. He was linked to actress Penelope Milford, painter Sylvia Martins, Barbara Carrera, Tuesday Weld, Dawn Steele, Carol Mallory, Diane von Furstenberg, Lori Rodkin, and Barbara Streisand. He was also surprisingly accused of having affairs with both Michael Edwards and Ron Snyder in numerous confessional books. He has also been linked to Delilah De Lazaro, Padma Lakshmi, Tina Chow, and model Laura Bailey, according to reports. He was also briefly married to model Cindy Crawford from 1991 to 1995. Richard finally got married to the model and actress Carrie Lowell in November 2002. Their son, Homer James Jaime Gear, was born in February 2000. In September 2013, the couple decided to divorce after 11 years of marriage. For three years, high-stakes divorce proceedings were held in New York County Supreme Court until a settlement was reached in October 2016. He then married Alejandra Silva, a Spanish activist, in early April 2018. In February 2019, they welcomed their first child, Alexander, and their second child the following year. It was said that Richard became interested in Buddhism when he was in his 20s. He first studied Zen Buddhism with Kaiozan Joshu Sasaki. After studying Zen for five or six years, he and Brazilian artist Sylvia Martins traveled to Nepal in 1978, where he met many Tibetan monks and lamas. 
he converted to Tibetan Buddhism, specifically the Gelugpa school, after meeting the 14th Dalai Lama in India and became one of the Dalai Lama's most ardent supporters. Because of Richard Gere's outstanding performances, he has earned a ton of money throughout the years. He spent his money on things that could benefit him, and that includes a $28 million estate in upstate New York. The nearly 50-acre estate has five buildings and is located in Pound Ridge, just over an hour's drive away from the city, as per the listing with Muffin, Dowdle, and Janelle Real Estate. Stables, a private lake with a sandy beach and an island, a soccer field and a swimming pool are among the luxurious amenities. The main house has a formal living room, family room, gourmet kitchen, breakfast nook with a wood-burning fireplace, library and study, as well as eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, according to the listing. Richard purchased the land in the year 1986 for $1.51 million, as per property records. According to the listing, his estate is surrounded by 4,300 acres of protected land. Pound Ridge is a charming town in Westchester County, New York, near the Connecticut border. The town's 9,822 square foot historic home on a nearly 30 acre estate recently sold for $9.8 million according to Zillow, making it the most expensive residential property ever sold in the area. And just like that, Richard Gere's sprawling country compound in upstate New York, which he listed for $28 million last October, has now found a different owner. He also owns a lovely home in the Hamptons. The house lacks any distinguishable Hollywood style and appears more like a farmhouse. The house does seem serene and pleasant in comparison to the lush green surrounding. It is safe to say that every penny spent on the house which was purchased for $2.75 million in 2001, was well spent. This area contains some of the most high-end and expensive homes in the country. The house has seven bedrooms and sits on a 1.2-acre lot. It has recently experienced renovations and does seem to be a true classic against the green backdrop. The kitchen has white marble countertops and a farmhouse-style table in the dining room. The country house has a guest house an artist studio and a swimming pool. The antique wood floors and vintage lighting fixtures add to the classic look of the home. Richard Gere is one of the celebrities whose homes will one day line the entire Malibu coastline. After his divorce from Cindy Crawford, he spent $5 million on a stunning oceanfront home. He probably was toasting the end of his marriage. The oceanfront compound is a three-bedroom, four-bathroom home situated on 2.2 acres in Malibu, California, USA. The sprawling property includes a main house, a cottage on a secluded section of beach, and a few guest houses. The tennis court, pool, and lush green gardens are the main draws of the property. Because it is remote and offers privacy, the house has a lovely appearance. Furthermore, Gear has an impressive photo collection, and aside from acting, he is also known as an enthusiastic photographer. The collection was auctioned off and was sold for almost $2 million. When you look at the emotionally charged photographs in his collection, you'll experience everything from drama to delight. Even more so, he claimed, My primary tool as an actor is emotion. Therefore, I believe that the majority of images to which I respond have the glimmer of a mystery or the suggestion of a story. Along with his photography collection, he also has a guitar collection. Richard is a guitar collector who seeks out the best sounding and expertly crafted instruments. Despite his passion for guitars, the actor auctioned off all 107 of his collection in New York to benefit a good cause. The Gear Foundation, which promotes AIDS education in India and aids the Tibetan people, received the entire auction proceeds. According to the actor, he listed every guitar for sale because his wife was tired of seeing them. The collection, which included vintage Gibson, C.F. Martin, Fender, Epiphone, Albert King, Peter Tosh, James D'Aquisto, and Gretsch guitars, was almost completely sold out, raising north of $900,000. Richard has a pet, and no, not a common pet like a dog or a cat. He owns some horses. The elegant horses are a favorite of the Hollywood icon. Four of his horses are Appaloosas, which are distinguished by their vibrant coat patterns. According to reports, the actor keeps and maintains his horses in his backyard. 
Appaloosa horses are known for their adaptability, stamina, and agility. One horse's price range is to have cost almost $1,000 to $10,000 on average. He is primarily concerned with humanitarian issues, and he is known to be a staunch supporter of the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation, Meals on Wheels, Free the Children, Amnesty International, and Gear Foundation. He was also a founding member of Tibet House, a nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation of Tibetan culture. He has long advocated for Survival International, a global organization that supports indigenous peoples by reasserting their right to determine their fate and assisting them in defending their lives, lands, and human rights. Tribes supported by Survival International include the Amazonian natives, the Maasai of East Africa, the Wichi of Argentina, and others. With all that being said, Richard Gere's net worth is expected to be $120 million in July 2020, after earning almost $10 million annually for his various ventures. Aside from multi-million dollar box office roles, Gere is also a good businessman. In 2009, he, along with his then-wife Carrie Lowell and real estate developer Russell Hernandez, opened a restaurant, yoga studio, and inn. However, in 2014, one of the chefs who are in charge of their food business stated only Gear and Russell to have owned the inn following the estrangement of the ex-couple. 